You can make a great life-changing decision to shed pounds with a new eating plan. And this is a great way to use your conscious mind, which is the captain of your ship. But then you may use willpower to plod on day after day and in the first moment of weakness, your conscious decision jumps overboard and so does your diet. Hello everybody, I'm Roger Simpson, clinical hypnotist at theflowcenter.com in Dallas, and you can reach us at theflowcenter.com or at hypnosisoverthephone.com or at my private number, 214-699-6627. Last time we covered the first reason that traditional dieting to shed pounds does not work, and that is adaption and homeostasis. This episode, we'll dig into reason number two, that you are using your conscious willpower to keep yourself on the new diet. You may have heard me say that the conscious mind is like the small visible part of an iceberg and that the subconscious mind is like the much larger submarine part. When you make a conscious decision to say get into an elevator and your subconscious mind simply won't let you do it, that's because the flea, which is like your conscious mind and the elephant, which is like your subconscious mind, takes on each other guess who wins? You can't make the elephant do anything. You have to convince him to want what you want. This is what happens in hypnosis sessions. We help convince your elephant to help you put up the big top tent rather than to stomp you into the ground. So half the reason your conscious decision to say lose weight ends in failure is simply what your conscious mind is up against. A battle of wills between a flea and an elephant. Aside from your opposing wills, here's a second metaphor to illustrate how your mind works. You make a conscious decision to start a diet. You, the conscious mind, the one that made the decision to set a new course, you're like the captain, and your subconscious mind is like the crew. Now the captain might know a fair amount about how the engine works, how to plot a course, how to swap a deck. <laughs> But the captain's job is to give orders. The crew are the experts in each of those areas that carry it out. The willpower is like the captain going down to the engine room and just getting in the way, or shoving the navigator aside and plotting the horse himself. Once the captain leaves his post and tries to do the jobs of the crew, the ship will not likely reach its destination, except by accident. <laughs> That's why you have a Scotty, a Spock, and a Sulu, the S team. <laughs> when the captain gives an order, the crew must carry that order out. If the captain fails to give an order, the crew will follow anyone else's order. Any person, anything it sees on TV, any bit of gossip, any lie, any propaganda, you know how crews are. After issuing the order, the captain then only has to watch to see the order is carried out by checking the progress of the ship to the destination. If something goes wrong with the engines, well, he lets the engineer take care of that. If the course of the, the ship strays, well, he checks with the navigator. The captain does not fix the engines and he does not plot the course once the order is given. Your subconscious mind is the expert on how to repair your body, mind. We hypnotists are simply the experts that reestablish communication between the captain in the wheelhouse and the crew in the other parts of the ship. Willpower is like the captain who leaves the wheelhouse and goes to the engine room and tries to do the job of Scotty. The captain just ends up getting in the way and the helm is left to Sulu <laughs> while the Battle of the Bulge needs the captain to be where he should be at the helm to give orders. Now this is Roger Simpson, clinical hypnotist for theflowcenter.com in Dallas. You can reach us at theflowcenter.com or at hypnosisoverthephone.com or at my private number 214-699-6627. And smooth sailing y'all and we'll see you in Kailua Kona. Ha, ha, ha.